I already got my paperwork in, Captain. Then I guess this little reminder isn't for you. Wow. Looks like he hates you even more than me. No, he doesn't. We have a good relationship. We're on the same page. Something to share with the rest of us, Santiago? No, sir. I, I wasn't... Peralta was the one that was talking. God, you must have been the worst fourth grader ever. Joke's on you. I skipped fourth grade. Santiago, anything else? No. No? Mm-mm. I am psyched to go on this week-long cruise, just sitting around doing nothing. Straight up living that slug life, y'all. Cruise itinerary is hot off a laminator. Who's ready for some nonstop, totally scheduled fun? Oh, I actually thought we could just sit by the pool, eat unlimited shrimp, and see what it does to our bodies. That's cute. I don't know if there's going to be time, though. The cruise offers 77 activities, and I signed us up for 76 of them. Hey, guys. Department has a new green initiative. We have to reduce energy usage by 15%. That means no more laminating, Santiago. Oh, that's fine. It's not the thing that gives me the most pleasure in life. Interacting with other people, that's what gets me going. This field trip has to go well. This is my chance to impress the principal. Sarge, you're in luck. I went to a magnet school where I was voted most likely to befriend a school administrator. Oh, Amy. I love paperwork, but this is crazy. There isn't even time to savor it. Charles, you're going so fast. I don't have a choice. We can't let this place fill up with perps. Yeah, but you're gonna cramp. <laughs> you kidding, baby? I've been cramping for the past 20 minutes. I'm so attracted to you right now. I know how to solve this. We just have to find out which football player had third period with Brandon Bliss. We need his class schedule. Yeah, but where are we gonna find that? In the coolest room in the school. Good lord! You could have just picked the lock. I know, I'm sorry. I'm just so amped up about admin. A 300 call number in the fine arts section? What is this, Beirut? You know, you don't work here. You don't have to reshelve the books. Well, someone has to. I'm so sorry. I'm just really stressed out. You're a great librarian, and I'm sure you're not the one who shelved this section. I am. God, Debbie, what is going on with you? Papa's a gentleman. He won't propose until he gets Gina's blessing, and she won't give it to him. Who says Papa? Are you a little French boy? <laughs> I think maybe I can help. I took a seminar on conflict resolution, and I have been waiting weeks to bust this bad boy out. <sighs> New binder smell. Mm -mm. Amy, don't do this. I'm gonna throw a milkshake in your face. Hi, Detective Santiago, Magnet School alumna. Well, I appreciate that you use the proper declension of alumnus. Well, some say Latin is a dead language, but I say it's just taking a long nap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have got to explain this thing to Captain Holt to save their relationship. And you laughed at me when I went to that weekend-long math conference. Because you called it funky cats and their feisty stats. That was the name! It was so cool! It was not. Anyway, it's not about the math. They haven't seen each other because of the night shift. They just need a bone. What? Gross! Rosa! Those are our dads! I mean, <laughs> that's not what I think. Captain Dad is just my boss. Wow. Never mind! I'm teaching Father the math! Whatever, Rosa! Ooh, that's a nice lamb job. This one goes on the blog. <clears throat> hey, Sarge. What up, bro? What up, bro? You're laminating in here, aren't you? I'm sorry. I just love it so much. That concludes our briefing. Now on a personal note, I have some thoughts about Beyonce's lemonade I'd like to share. Oh my God, sir. As much as I want to hear those thoughts, and it is so, so much, I think we should probably let Amy speak. Oh, Santiago, the floor is yours. Thank you. Okay, here's everyone's itineraries for Thanksgiving at my place. I know a lot of your families are out of town and you just want to relax, but I think we'll all enjoy ourselves more if we rigidly stick to the schedule. Whoa, did you assign us individual bathroom break times? Keep asking questions about it, Sarge, and your slot is after Scully's. Hi, right, Santiago, damn, short toilet. There's no way you're using a keyboard with your hands like that. Oh, I could help you, not to brag, but at typing camp, everyone called me the finger queen. Oh my God, that sounds really dirty. I swear that's not what it meant. Hey, Santiago. You know why you didn't get in a Sam Sam? Probably because I used a modern format on my cover letter that put my email above my home address. Why take such a risk? The two hunks have arrived. Hi. So glad to have you here, Dad. Happy to be here, <laughs> How was your flight? Oh, good, good. You know, I did the Times Crossroad. Oh, great puzzle today, right? Oh, my God, 17 down? Oh, I know. What about 16 across? What about 34 across? Oh, what about 45 down? What, what about, about 20, 20 across? across? Oh. <laughs> I also did it. Yeah. 
Astronomy is full of interesting facts. For instance, here's one that Hollywood doesn't want you to know. A parsec is actually a measure of distance. One of the many inaccuracies in the Star Wars universe. Mm-hmm, and was Star Wars. Oh boy. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, let's talk planets. Jupiter is a gas giant. So is Hitchcock, how does this help me? It also has 67 moons. I came up with a fun mnemonic device to remember them all. It goes, Every individual gets crayons after telling his aggressive little mongoose painter called Ernest some lies about tiny panda heads, period. Maybe one kid could take her elephant into California, except... Where's Gina? She told me you called me a gas giant. Well, now you and I will never hook up. You wanted to see me, Captain? Yes, the DA wanted me to personally thank you for your work on the J Street drug bust. That's why we do this, sir. For praise? Uh, hey, can I take a couple photos of your desk? I want to submit them to organizers quarterly. What? There's a magazine about organizing? Yeah, I want to be featured as organizer of the month. Just imagine yeah. me on the cover with tons of scarves lying around. I'm holding them up like, this is too many scarves. We got to do something. OK. Oh, now, can you open the drawers? If you want to get featured, you got to show them what's under the skirt. Know what I mean? I'm going to dominate that class. You don't cross stitch for 20 years without developing a steady hand. Wow, you really think that's a brag, don't you? 20 bucks says I do better in that class than you do, Threadhead. All right, you're on. And I'll have you know that Threadhead is a glowing compliment in the sewing community. If you wanted to insult me, you should have called me a stitch skipper. OK, stitch skipper. No, oh, I handed it to you. All right, Ames, let's go over your cover story again. <sighs> OK. My name is Isabel Cortez. I'm in for murder, because some perv on the subway tried to touch me, and I was like, did someone order a tracheotomy? OK, I think that's a little too technical. We need to work on your tough talk. OK, first, the good news. I've generated a detailed timeline broken down to 30 second increments to keep us on track. The bad news, we're already 16.5 increments behind schedule. Oh, man, Terry feels overwhelmed. Good, use it. Neil Armstrong was overwhelmed when he walked on the moon, but you know what he did? He walked on the moon! Okay, this is the junior police program, AKA Mission Possible. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to get your life back on track. <coughs> Narc! My bathroom break during the test took a little longer than anticipated. May I use the restroom, please? Whoa. Uh -oh. Nothing to see here. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Little desk. That's why they say it's test time, so diaper up. They say that. I've never said that. I've never worn a diaper during a test. Who would wear a diaper during a test? It's ridiculous. Santiago. I'm sorry. How do you want me to proceed? Figure it out, Santiago. It's your case. Yes, I will do that. Thank you. Are you bowing? No. This is how I walk. Okay, I've got something. Oh, that's not Brandon's profile, it's mine. I just want a quick peek at your attendance record. Zero absences. Oh, mama. Printing this for later. All right, keep it in your pants, Santiago. Oh, that's exactly where it's going. Uh, it's not the turnout I was hoping for. Maybe I should have offered free strudel. Then at least Scully would have come. There's free strudel? Where the hell did you come from? I don't get it. I am shocked that more people wouldn't want the tutelage of our precincts, nay our cities. Most esteemed sergeant. What do you want, Santiago? To learn the majestic art of self-defense from our cities, nay, our country. Come on, man, out with it. Now, all we need is the death certificate officially notarized. You want me to break the sacred oath I took to become a notary? It's not a problem, because I'm a badass, just like Rosa. So I am going to stamp this and violate my oath. You keep talking, but we're done here. Paul hasn't seen Kevin in like months. And I was just thinking if that was me and you, it would make me really sad. Oh, that's actually super sweet. Plus there's this big fat binder full of instructions and rules. <gasps> there's a binder? Why didn't you lead with that, you idiot? <sighs> I'm gonna just leave you two alone. Okay.